The research for this video was finished on December 3rd, so any logo that was changed after that day won't be mentioned. Hello and welcome to the 11th episode of Logo News. In this series I do a remaster of the logos I've previously talked about. I am your host Peter John and in this video I'm gonna talk about a lot of logos, so I really hope you like it, because it took me weeks and weeks to make this video. First, I'm gonna talk about NBC. I've talked about it in the episode 19 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American English language commercial broadcast television and radio network. The flagship property of the NBC Entertainment Division of Universal, a division of Comcast, its headquarters are located at Comcast Building in New York City. The company also has offices in Los Angeles at 10 Universal City Plaza in Chicago at the NBC Tower. 2022 to the present, the peacock is now 2D and brighter, and the font of the text has changed. Here is the print version, the horizontal version, the print version of the horizontal version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Roblox. I've talked about it in the episode 35 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an online game platform and game creation system developed by Roblox Corporation that allows users to program games and play games created by other users. Created by David Basucki and Eric Castle in 2004 and released in 2006, the platform hosts user-created games of multiple genres, coded in the programming language Lua. 2022 to the present, the font of the text has changed, making the holes in the letters ROB and O bigger. Here is the gray version, the icon, the 2D icon and a part of a trailer. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Freeform. I've talked about it in the episode 72 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American multinational basic cable channel owned by Walt Disney Television, a subsidiary of the Walt Disney Company. Freeform primarily broadcasts programming geared toward teenagers and young adults, with some skewing toward young women in the 1434 age range, a target demographic designated by the channel as becomers. 2022 to the present, there is the word Freeform in light green text, and on the letters F there are some white shapes. Here is the pink version and a bumper. 31 Nights of Halloween. How wonderful. Watch all October on Freeform. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about pockets. I've talked about it in the episode 73 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the brand for most of the children's programming aired by Pinterio in Canada. It was launched on April 1, 1994, and runs from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. The brand also operates two 24-hour online live streams, one which features regular Bakids programming, and another dedicated to its original series Paw Patrol. 2022 to the present, the font of the logo has changed, the word Thbo is smaller, and now inside the letter D there is a brown eye. Here is a bumper. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Stars Encore. I've talked about it in the episode 75 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, a subsidiary of Lionsgate Entertainment, and headquartered at the Meridian International Business Center Complex in Meridian, Colorado, United States. Launched as Encore on April 1, 1991, its programming features mainly older and recent theatrically released feature films, although some of its multiplex channels also carry acquired television series. 2022 to the present, the font of the word stars has changed, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about ITV1. 
I've talked about it in the episode 107 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a British free-to-air public broadcast television channel owned and operated by the British media company ITV plc. It provides the Channel 3 public broadcast service across all of the United Kingdom, except for the central and northern areas of Scotland, where STV provides the service. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from ITV to ITV1. The text is now in light blue text, and now on the right of the word ITV there is a light blue number 1. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. Now on ITV1, it's over to Mark and the team for tonight's live FIFA World Cup action. Japan versus Spain. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Channel 4. I've talked about it in the episode 107 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a British free-to-air public broadcast television network. It began its transmission on November 2, 1982, and was established to provide a fourth television service in the United Kingdom. At the time, the only other channels were the license-funded BBC One and BBC Two, and a single commercial broadcasting network ITV. 2022 to the present, the rectangles are now black. Here is the HD version, the time shift version, a bolder version and a bumper. Sue Perkins is meeting fellow van lifers in a big American road trip at 10 on one of the most beautiful drives there is. After Kevin heads in the direction of Bolton with his fingers crossed for a finally finished grand design here on Channel 4. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Latina television. I've talked about it in the episode 109 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Peruvian open television network that has been broadcasting since 1983. It is the third private channel to start its broadcasts. Until 2003, it was the fourth channel with the highest audience according to CPI, while in 2008 it reached third place, according to Cantor Ibop Media. Its broadcast headquarters are located on Avenue. San Felipe, in the district of Jesus Maria Lime. 2022 to the present, the square isn't on a gradient anymore, the shapes of the letter L are now connected, and the font of the word Latina has changed. Here is a bumper. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Looney Tunes. I've talked about it in the episode 139 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2007. It is an American animated comedy short film series produced by Warner Bros. starting from 1930 to 1969, concurrently with its partner series Merry Melodies, during the golden age of American animation. Then some new cartoons were produced from the late 1980s to the mid-2010s, as well as other made productions beginning in 1972. 2007 to the present, Bugs Bunny is now coming out from the circle and on the red circle, now there is one more yellow ring. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Circle K. I've talked about it in the episode 140 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2017 in Mexico. It is an American chain of convenience stores headquartered in Tempe, Arizona, United States. It is owned by the multinational company Couchtard. As of February 2020, Circle K has 9,799 stores in North America, 2,697 stores in Europe, and an additional 2,380 stores operating under franchise agreements worldwide. 2017 to the present in Mexico, the rectangle on the bottom is now red. Here is the icon and a commercial. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Six Flags. I've talked about it in the episode 142 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2019. It is an American amusement park corporation, headquartered in Arlington, Texas. 
it has properties in Canada, Mexico, and the United States. Six Flags owns the most theme parks and water parks combined of any amusement park company and has the seventh highest attendance in the world. 2019 to the present, now behind the words and the red shapes, there is a blue roller coaster with three blue roller coaster carts on it. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Dancing with the Stars. I've talked about it in the episode 145 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2019. It is the name of various international television series based on the format of the British TV series Strictly Come Dancing, which is distributed by BBC Studios, the commercial arm of the BBC. Currently the format has been licensed to 60 territories. 2019 to the present, the font has changed, making the text thinner. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Duncan. I've talked about it in the episode 161 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American multinational coffee and donut company, as well as a quick service restaurant. It was founded by Bill Rosenberg in Quincy, Massachusetts, in 1950. The chain was acquired by Baskin Robbins holding company Allied Lions in 1990, its acquisition of the Mr. Donut chain, and the conversion of that chain to Dunkin' Donuts, facilitated the brand's growth in North America that year. 2022 to the present, the font has changed, making the text thinner. Here is a commercial. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Hardee's. I've talked about it in the episode 167 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American fast food restaurant chain operated by CKE Restaurants Holdings Incorporated with locations primarily in the southern and midwestern United States. The company has evolved through several corporate ownerships since its establishment in 1961 in North Carolina. 2022 to the present, the star isn't tilted anymore. Here is the stacked version, the icon, a variant and a commercial. How did we improve the legendary Hardy's chicken range? With all new recipes, freshly prepared using only 100% real chicken. Yes, we just gave our hand-breaded chicken an upgrade. More crispy, more tasty, more mmm. Go all in for the new hand-breaded chicken range from Hardy's. Order now. All right, now I'm gonna talk about stars. I've talked about it in the episode 173 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium cable and satellite television network owned by Lionsgate Entertainment and is the flagship property of parent subsidiary Stars Incorporated. Programming on Stars consists of theatrically released motion pictures and first-run original television series. 2022 to the present, the font has changed, making the text thicker, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is the gradient version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Reese's. I've talked about it in the episode 176 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2015. They are an American candy consisting of a chocolate cup filled with peanut butter, marketed by the Hershey Company. They were created on November 15, 1928, by H. B. Reese, a former dairy farmer and shipping foreman for Milton S. Hershey. 2015 to the present, the outline is now brown. Here is a commercial. Wouldn't it be great if all Valentine's Day gifts were filled with peanut butter? Well, I mean, maybe not all of them. Maybe it's just Reese's that are better. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Panamericana Television. I've talked about it in the episode 179 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is a Peruvian television network, which was founded on July 21, 1957, and had later begun its official broadcast on October 16, 1959. 2021 to the present, the letter P is now 3D, and the font of the word Panamericana has changed. Here is a bumper. Panamericana. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Carl's Jr. I've talked about it in the episode 188 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. 
It is an American fast food restaurant chain operated by CKE Restaurant Holdings Incorporated, with franchisees in North and South America, Asia, Asenia, Europe and Africa. In 2016, entrepreneur listed Carl's Jr. as number 54 on their top franchise 500 list, which ranks the overall financial strength, stability, and growth rate for the top 500 franchisees in any field across the United States. 2022 to the present, the star isn't tilted anymore. Here is the stacked version, the icon, a variant and the commercial. Next in Market Watch, numbers. Boring. In more delicious news, Carl's Jr. and Hardee's are offering charbroiled double deals starting at $2.99 each. Bite into these double deals starting at $2.99 each at Carl's Jr. and Hardee's. All right, now I'm gonna talk about NFL Network. I've talked about it in the episode 194 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022 as a secondary logo. It is an American sports-oriented pay television network owned by the National Football League and is part of NFL Media, which also includes NFL.com, NFL Films, NFL Mobile, NFL Now and NFL Red Zone. Dedicated to American football, the network features game telecasts from the NFL, as well as NFL-related content including analysis programs, specials and documentaries. 2022 to the present is a secondary logo, there is a dark blue and white shield on a dark blue outline, and on it there are three white stars, and under them there is a white rectangle on a dark blue outline, and inside it, there are the words NFL and network and brown text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Jack in the Box. I've talked about it in the episode 195 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American fast food restaurant chain founded February 21, 1951, by Robert O. Peterson in San Diego, California, where it is headquartered. The chain has over 2,200 locations, primarily serving the west coast of the United States. 2022 to the present, the font of the words in the inbox has changed. Here is the horizontal version and a commercial. Can you move the French toast sticks with your mind? No. Can you move the syrup with your mind? No. Can you move the spicy chicken strips with your mind? I can't actually do that. I'm, I'm just an actor. That's it. Concentrate. I'm just looking at it, Jack. Can you move the spicy good good sauce with your mind? Why do you think I can move the good good sauce with my mind when I can't move the other stuff? Well, it's lighter. Good talk. You just moved the chair with your mind. I mean, technically. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna talk about Mega Man. I've talked about it in the episode 205 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2018. It is a Japanese science fiction video game franchise created by Capcom, starring a series of robot characters each known by the moniker Mega Man. The original game was released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1987 and spawned a franchise that expanded to over 50 games on multiple systems. As of July 26, 2022, the series has sold 38 million units worldwide. 2018 to the present, the logo is darker. Here is a part of a trailer. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Ziploc. I've talked about it in the episode 214 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a brand of reusable, resealable sliding channel storage bags and containers originally developed and test marketed by the Dow Chemical Company in 1968, and now produced by SC Johnson & Son. The plastic bags and containers come in different sizes for use with different products. 2022 to the present, there is a blue gradient rounded triangle on a white outline, and on it, there is the word Ziploc in white text. Here is a commercial.
Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Hallmark Channel. I've talked about it in the episode 229 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American television channel owned by Crown Media Holdings Incorporated, which in turn is owned by Hallmark Cards Incorporated. The channel's programming is primarily targeted at families and features a mix of television movies and miniseries, original and acquired television series, and lifestyle programs. 2022 to the present, the font of the word channel has changed. Here is a bumper. The Holiday Sitter on Hallmark. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about WWE NXT. I've talked about it in the episode 233 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American professional wrestling television program. It is produced by the American professional wrestling promotion WWE, featuring performers from the promotion's NXT brand division. The show currently airs live on Tuesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on the USA Network. 2022 to the present, the text is now in white text and on a golden outline. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Stars Encore Black. I've talked about it in the episode 238 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, which features movies, an off network comedy and drama television series aimed at African American audiences. Due to its carriage of the latter, it is one of only four Stars Encore channels that currently airs series programming. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word black is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Star's Encore action. I've talked about it in the episode 238 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Star's Incorporated which focuses on action movies, martial arts films and horror movies, it also previously carried an I'm feature films until 2008. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word action is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Star's Encore Classic. I've talked about it in the episode 238 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, which features a broad mix of classic movies, along with some off-network television series from the 1970s to the 1990s, due to its carriage of the latter, it is one of only four encore channels that currently airs series programming. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word classic is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Stars Encore Westerns. I've talked about it in the episode 238 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated which features a mix of classic and contemporary Western movies, as well as reruns of popular Western series from the 1950s to the 1970s. It is one of only four encore channels that currently airs series programming. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word westerns is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Star's Encore Suspense. I've talked about it in the episode 242 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated which features mystery and suspense films, as well as detective movies and series, film noir and neo-noir. It is one of only four encore channels that currently airs series programming. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word suspense is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Stars Encore Family. I've talked about it in the episode 242 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated which features live action, animated and anime films targeted at family audiences. Films broadcast on the channel are primarily rated G or PG, although Encore Family does run select films with a rating of PG-13 or TV-14. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word family is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Star's Encore Espanol. I've talked about it in the episode 243 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. 
It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, which focuses on imported and domestic Spanish language feature films. When the channel launched on August 1, 2011, it originated as a Spanish simulcast of the main Encore channel, before adopting its own separate schedule on December 1, 2013. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word Espanol is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about Kit Kat. I've talked about it in the episode 244 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2019. It is a chocolate-covered wafer bar confection created by Roundtrees of York, United Kingdom, and is now produced globally by Nestle, except in the United States, where it is made under license by the H. Beery's Candy Company, a division of the Hershey Company. 2019 to the present, there is a red oval shape on a yellow and brown outline, and on it, there is the word KitKat in white text on a brown outline. Here is a commercial. Okay, okay, I'm up, I'm up. Five more minutes. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Disney Studios Australia. I've talked about it in the episode 256 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a motion picture and television production facility in Sydney that is operated as part of the Walt Disney Company since 2019. Occupying the site of the former Sydney showground at Moore Park, the studio was created in May 1998 by the now-defunct News Corporation, later split into 21st Century Fox, which Disney acquired in 2019. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from Fox Studios Australia to Disney Studios Australia. There are the words Disney and Studios in blue text, and under the word Disney, there are 14 blue shapes, and between them there is a blue silhouette of Mickey's head, and on the right of the shapes, there is the word Australia in blue text. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about Roblox Studio. I've talked about it in the episode 264 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a development program developed by Roblox, offering an assortment of coding and building tools for developing games for Roblox via the Lua programming language. Roblox Studio was released in 2005 as Roblox Developer's Environment. 2022 to the present, the gap between the shapes is bigger. Here is the print version and the 2D version. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about ITV2. I've talked about it in the episode 269 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a British free-to-air television channel owned by ITV Digital Channels, a division of ITV PLC. It was launched on December 7, 1998. For a number of years, it had the largest audience share after the five analog terrestrial stations, a claim now held by its sister service ITV3, both of which are freely available to a majority of households. 2022 to the present, the text and the number are now pink, and the font of the number 2 has changed. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. Right now on ITV2, it's time for totally bonkers Guinness World Records. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about Super Bowl. I've talked about it in the episode 276 of Logo History, and its logo is gonna change in 2023. It is the annual final playoff game of the National Football League to determine the league champion. It has served as the final game of every NFL season since 1966, replacing the NFL championship game. Since 2022, the game is played on the second Sunday in February. Prior Super Bowls were played on Sundays in early to mid-January from 1967 to 1978, late January from 1979 to 2003, and the first Sunday of February from 2004 to 2021. 2023 to 2023, here we have the Super Bowl 57 version. Now on the right of the letter I there is another letter I, and the text is now in green, blue, red and purple text. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about CBS Evening News. I've talked about it in the episode 279 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the flagship evening television news program of CBS News, the news division of the CBS Television Network in the United States. The CBS Evening News is a daily evening broadcast featuring news reports, feature stories and interviews by CBS News correspondents and reporters covering events around the world. 2022 to the present, the blue rectangle has been removed, the words with Nora and O'Donnell are smaller, and now all the logo is dark blue. Here is the horizontal version, a variant and an intro. 
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about WrestleMania. I've talked about it in the episode 283 of Logo History, and its logo is going to change in 2024. It is a professional wrestling pay-per-view and live streaming event held annually between mid-March and mid-April by WWE, the world's largest professional wrestling promotion. Since premiering in 1985, 37 editions followed, most recently in Arlington, Texas on April 2 and 3, 2022. WrestleMania was WWE's first ever PPV produced and is the most successful and longest running professional wrestling event in history. 2024 to 2024, here we have the WrestleMania 40 version. There is a silver shape on a white and green outline, and on it there is a silver WWE logo that consists of two letters W on a black outline, and under it, there is a silver bell on a black outline, and on it, there is the word XL in dark gray text, and above it, there is the word WrestleMania in white text on a green outline. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Programa Silvio Santos. I've talked about it in the episode 288 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Brazilian variety program presented and created by Silvio Santos and broadcast by Sistema Brasileiro de Televisão. Airing since June 2, 1963, it is the second oldest television program in Brazil. It is the main attraction of SBT on Sundays. The program airs from 20 hundred hours until midnight. It is best known as a program of sequential segments, game shows, pranks and its famous airplanes of money. 2022 to the present, the background is much lighter, and the text and the lines are now white. Here is an intro. Programa Silvio Santos. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about ITV3. I've talked about it in the episode 294 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a British free-to-air television channel owned by ITV Digital Channels, a division of ITV PLC. The channel was first launched on November 1, 2004 at 9 p.m., replacing Plus. ITV3 is the sixth largest UK television channel by audience share and the largest after the five main terrestrial services, the position which was previously held by its sister station ITV2. 2022 to the present, the text and the number are now light purple, and the font of the number 3 has changed. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. Martin's under pressure now, and whilst Louisa focuses hard on her career. Doc Martin. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Pretty Cure. I've talked about it in the episode 296 of Logo History, and its logo is gonna change in 2023. It is a Japanese magical girl and I'm franchise created by Izumi Toto and Bandai, and produced by Asahi Broadcasting Corporation, Asatsu DK, Toei Animation and Bandai. Each series revolves around a group of magical girls known as Pretty Cures, who battle against evil forces. 2023 to 2023, here we have the Hirigeru Sky Pretty Cure version. There are some words in Japanese in blue text, and under them there are three lines one light purple one pink and one yellow, and under them there are some words in Japanese in pink blue and yellow text, and under them there is a colorful line and connected to it, there is a pink and blue wing. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Gloob. I've talked about it in the episode 300 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Brazilian pay television children's channel that was launched on June 15, 2012, aimed at children 6 to 12 years old. Owned, operated and part of Canace Globo, a television broadcast network and subsidiary of Grupo Globo. Its name is an anagram of the word Globo, reversing the letter O before the B. 2022 to the present, the text is now in purple text and on a black outline. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Pixel Gun 3D. I've talked about it in the episode 305 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a first-person shooter video game released in 2013 for iOS and Android. It was developed by American studio Lightmap and published by Cypress Studio Cubic Games, with both being acquired by Nexters in January 2022. According to Cubic Games, the game had surpassed 100 million downloads by that time. 2022 to the present, there is a Minecraft skin of Spider-Man. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Church's Texas Chicken. I've talked about it in the episode 309 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American fast food restaurant chain that specializes in fried chicken and is headquartered in Atlanta, Georgia. 
The chain was founded as Church's Fried Chicken To Go by George W. Church Sr. on April 17, 1952, in San Antonio, Texas, across the street from the Alamo. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from Church's Chicken to Church's Texas Chicken. There is a yellow ring and inside it there is a yellow star, and under it, there are the words Church's Texas and Chicken in black text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Survivor Series. I've talked about it in the episode 311 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a professional wrestling pay-per-view and live streaming event, produced annually since 1987 by WWE, the world's largest professional wrestling promotion. Held in November generally the week of Thanksgiving, it is the second longest running PPV event in history, behind WWE's flagship event, WrestleMania. 2022 to the present, there are two neon shapes one red and one blue, and between them there is a black WWE logo that consists of two letters W on top of a red line, and inside the shapes, there are four rectangles two red and two blue, and between them, there are the words Survivor and Series in black text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Meal Pops Honey Pops. I've talked about it in the episode 312 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is a breakfast cereal made by Kellogg's and sold in the United Kingdom Sweden, Spain, the Netherlands Malta, Ireland, Italy, Germany, Russia, Belgium and Poland. The mascot of Honey Loops was a male honeybee called Loopy, who has now been replaced by a female bee called Honey Bee. 2021 to the present, here we have the Meal Pops bio version. There are the words meal and pops in white and black text, and on the right of them there is a green rectangle, and inside it, there is the word bio in white text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about RTL Harem. I've talked about it in the episode 319 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the film and football channel of the Hungarian RTL Group, which started operating on October 28, 2022, as the legal successor of RTL+. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from RTL Plus to RTL Harem. There are three rectangles, one dark blue, one blue and one green, and on them there is the word RTL in white text, and under the rectangles, there is the word Harem in black text. Here is the horizontal version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about RTL Gold. I've talked about it in the episode 319 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the RTL Group's entertainment television channel in Hungarian, launched on July 3, 2017. The voice of the channel is Daniel Istvan, who was also the announcer of Cool from 2004 to 2008. The channel's advertising time is sold by RTL Saleshouse. 2022 to the present, there are three yellow rectangles, and on them there is the word RTL in white text, and under the rectangles, there is the word gold in black text. Here is the horizontal version and a bumper. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about ITV4. I've talked about it in the episode 323 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a British free-to-air television channel which was launched on November 1, 2005. It is owned by ITV Digital Channels, a division of ITV PLC, and is part of the ITV network. The channel has a lineup that consists of sports, cult classic films such as James Bond, US dramas, and classic ITV action series of the 1960s, 1970s and 1980s. 2022 to the present, the text and the number are now green, and the font of the number 4 has changed. Here is the HD version, the time shift version and a bumper. He's the legendary outlaw, the savior of the common people. He's Robin of Sherwood on ITV4. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about RTL Kek. I've talked about it in the episode 332 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Hungarian commercial television channel, owned by RTL Group. It is rivaling with Super TV2 and VIASAT3. The channel launched on October 1, 2012. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from RTL2 to RTL Kek. There are three rectangles, one purple, one red and one yellow, and on them there is the word RTL in white text, and under the rectangles, there is the word Kek in black text. Here is the horizontal version and a bumper. All right, now I'm gonna talk about RTL Hungary. 
I've talked about it in the episode 332 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Hungarian free-to-air television channel owned by RTL Group. The channel began broadcasting three days after its main rival TV2, one of Hungary's first commercial TV channels. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from RTL Club to RTL. There are three rectangles, one red, one purple and one blue, and on them there is the word RTL in white text. Here is the print version and a bumper. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about big ticket television. I've talked about it in the episode 342 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2012. It is an Emmy Award winning American production company. Big Ticket is a subsidiary of CBS Studios, a division of Paramount Global. It is best known for producing the syndicated mainstay Judge Judy from 1996 to 2021. 2012 to the present, the shape and the word television are now purple, and the font of the text has changed. Here is an intro. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Cayman Rider. I've talked about it in the episode 347 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Japanese superhero media franchise consisting of takisatsu television programs, films, manga, and a nine, created by manga artist Shotaro Ishinomori. Cayman Rider Media generally features a motorcycle riding superhero with an insect motif who fights supervillains, often known as Kajin. 2022-2023, here we have the Cayman Rider Jeets version. There is the word Jeets in black text except the letter is red and bigger and under it, there are some words in Japanese in white text on a black outline, and under them there are the words Cayman Rider and Jeets in black text. Here is an intro. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about Great American Family. Before speaking about this logo, I just wanna say that because of them I got a strike on Logo News 9, and that's why it isn't available anymore. But ok, I've talked about it in the episode 349 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American cable television network. Owned by Great American Media, it broadcasts family-oriented general entertainment programming, including television series and made-for-TV movies. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from GAC Family to Great American Family. There are the words Great American and Family in brown text. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Starfall. I've talked about it in the episode 351 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2017. It is a children's website that teaches basic English reading and writing skills. The main demographic is preschoolers and kindergartners. It teaches children how to read by using games and phonics. Methods used by the website are based on the research of G. Reed Lyon from the National Institutes of Health and Edward J. Kamienui from the University of Oregon. 2017 to the present, the text is now fully in blue text, and the word com has been removed. Ok, now I'm gonna talk about World Series. I've talked about it in the episode 357 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the annual championship series of Major League Baseball in the United States and Canada, contested since 1903 between the champion teams of the American League and the National League. The winner of the World Series Championship is determined through a best-of-seven playoff, and the winning team is awarded the Commissioner's Trophy. 2022-2022, there are two yellow lines, and between them there is a MLB logo that consists of a white silhouette of a person wearing a cap and holding a baseball bat, and a baseball on top of a dark blue and red rounded rectangle, and under the rectangle, there is the word world in dark blue text, and under it, there are four yellow lines between them, there is a yellow number 2022, and between it there are two flags one golden and one silver, and under them, there is the word series in dark blue text, and under it, there are two yellow lines, and between them, there is the capital one logo that consists in the words capital, and one in dark blue text on a red shape. Here is a variant and an intro. On Fox. The future is Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Star's Edge. I've talked about it in the episode 362 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, which features films aimed at young adults in the 18 to 34 age demographic. It was launched in March 1996 as Stars 2, and was rebranded as Stars Theater from July 1999 until March 25, 2005. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word edge is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper.
Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Discord Nitro. I've talked about it in the episode 363 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is a paid membership on Discord, which comes with global access to custom images from all the servers you are a part of, Nitro stickers, a custom Discord number tag, animated avatars, server enhancements, etc. It costs $9.99 a month and $99.99 .99 per year. 2021 to the present, the font of the word Discord has changed, and now on the left of it, there is a black shape representing Clyde, Discord's mascot. Here is the classic version and the basic version. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Charm and Essentials. I've talked about it in the episode 368 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the Essentials version of Charmin, an American brand of toilet paper manufactured by Procter & Gamble. 2022 to the present, there is a toilet paper package, and on it there is the word mega in blue text, and under it, there is a yellow shape on a blue outline, and on it there is a dark blue shape on a blue outline, and inside it, there is the word Charmin in white text, and under the shape there is the word essentials in dark blue text, and under it, there is a light blue shape, and inside it, there is the word soft in white text, and on the left of the shape, there are three bears. Here is a commercial. Sure you have an affordable toilet paper that works. But wouldn't you like one that you actually enjoy using? Now this is what I'm talking about. Sherman Essential Soft. Whoa, it's softer. And more absorbent. And it fits the family budget. Sherman Essential Soft has the low price you'll love. And it's surprisingly softer and more absorbent. We're rolling with Essential Soft. Now that's a good deal. <laughs> Affordable price, superior softness. Enjoy the go with Sherman Essentials. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Lurpak. I've talked about it in the episode 378 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is a Danish brand of butter owned by Arla Foods. It is sold in over 75 countries worldwide and is known for its distinctive silver packaging. Lurpak came into existence in October 1901 after a combination of several Danish dairy farmers decided to create and register a common brand and mark for butter to increase sales. Its logo is based on the Lur, an ancient instrument once used in Scandinavia. 2021 to the present, the font has changed, and the gray shapes surrounding the red shield are now in a silver gradient. Here is a commercial. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about stars in black. I've talked about it in the episode 390 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated which focuses on black cinema and urban entertainment, carrying a mix of first-run hits, classic and pan-African films, and original productions. Launched in 1997 as a joint venture with BET, Stars in Black was known as BET Movies. Stars until 2001, when BET opted out of the venture during its purchase by Viacom. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the words in and black are in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Star's comedy. I've talked about it in the episode 390 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, which focuses on lighthearted films of varying comedic genres including slapstick, romantic comedies and dramedies. It was launched in 2005. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word comedy is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Stars Cinema. I've talked about it in the episode 391 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated which carries films outside the mainstream cinema, incorporating critically acclaimed studio and independent releases and art house films. Stars Cinema was launched in May 1999. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the word cinema is in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Star's Kids and Family. I've talked about it in the episode 391 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. 
It is an American premium television channel owned by Stars Incorporated, which features commercial free family movies, including action and adventure movies, dramas, and comedies. The channel featured two program blocks. Building Blocks, a weekday morning block of animated series and Six Block, a weekday afternoon block of imported live-action series aimed at a youth audience. 2022 to the present, now the font has changed, the words kids and and family are in the middle, and the text is now in dark green text. Here is a bumper. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about ADN40. I've talked about it in the episode 403 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a television station in Mexico City, owned by Televisora del Valle de Mexico, and operated by TV Azteca. It is branded as ADN40 and available over the air in much of Mexico on TV Azteca's transmitters. Programming generally consists of news and informational shows. 2022 to the present, the number 40 is now red, and now under the word ADN, there are the words Simper and Conmigo in orange and gray text. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the price is right. I've talked about it in the episode 413 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a television game show franchise created by Bob Stewart, originally produced by Mark Goodson and Bill Totman, currently it is produced and owned by Fremantle. The franchise centers on television game shows, but also includes merchandise such as video games, printed media, and board games. 2022 to the present, the orange and red shapes are shorter, rounder and brighter now. Here is an intro. Say the line, say the line, he's the captain of this ship, it's Drew Carey! All right, now I'm gonna talk about Grammy Awards. I've talked about it in the episode 414 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is an award presented by the Recording Academy to recognize outstanding achievement in the music industry of the United States. The trophy depicts a gilded gramophone. The Grammys are the first of the big three network's major music awards held annually. 2021 to 2021, there is a black number 63, and on the right of it, there is a Grammy Award, and on the right of it, there are the words Recording Academy Grammy and Awards in black text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about KFWD. I've talked about it in the episode 429 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is a Shafk affiliated television station licensed to Fort Worth, Texas, United States and serving the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. The station is owned by Rye Brook, New York-based WRNN-TV Associates. KFWD's offices are located in Coppell, and its transmitter is located in Cedar Hill, Texas. 2021 to the present, there is a black rounded square, and inside it, there are the words shop and HQ in white and yellow text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about TV2 Club. I've talked about it in the episode 431 of Logo History, and its logo is going to change in 2022. It is a television channel operated by the TV2 group that broadcasts in Hungary. It is an entertainment channel, primarily dedicated to talk shows, reality series involving lifestyles, and family life. 2022 to 2022 as a tentative logo, they changed its name from FEM3 to TV2 Club. There is a yellow rounded shape, and inside it there is the word TV2 in white text, and under the shape there is the word club in pink text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Bob the Builder. I've talked about it in the episode 438 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2015. It is a British animated children's television series created by Keith Chapman for hit entertainment and hot animation. The series follows the adventures of Bob, a building contractor, specializing in masonry, along with his colleague Wendy, various neighbors and friends and equipment, and their gang of anthropomorphized work vehicles, Scoop, Muck, Dizzy, Rolly, Lofty and many others. 2015 to the present, there is a blue rectangle, and on it there is the word Bob in yellow text on a blue outline, and under it there is a red rectangle, and inside it, there are the words the and builder in yellow text. Here is an intro. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Sony Entertainment Television India. I've talked about it in the episode 452 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an Indian Hindi language general entertainment pay television channel that was launched on September 30, 1995, and is owned by Culver Max Entertainment, a subsidiary of the Japanese Sony. 
said India's YouTube channel has over 134 billion total views, making it the third most viewed YouTube channel overall. 2022 to the present, there is a black and golden rounded square, and on the black part, there is the word Sony in white text, and on the golden part, there are the words entertainment and television in black text. Here is the HD version and a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Dekids. I've talked about it in the episode 463 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an Italian children's television channel owned by De Agostini. The channel was launched on October 1, 2008 on Sky Italia for children aged 4 to 14. A month later, a time shift version of the channel, Dekids Plus One on November 10, 2008. 2022 to the present, there is a white chat box on a black outline, and inside it, there is the word D in blue text, and under it, there is the word kids in red, yellow, blue and purple text on a black outline. Here is a bumper. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Telemundo Deports. I've talked about it in the episode 471 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is the programming division of NBC Sports Group, owned by Nk Universal, that is responsible for the production of sports events and magazine programs that air on Nk Universal's Spanish-language television networks Telemundo and Universo. 2022 to the present, the letter T is now red, and the word Deports is now in black text. Here is an intro. Solo los eventos más grandes. Solo los mejores atletas. Solo por Telemundo Deportes. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Swiss Chalet. I've talked about it in the episode 480 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2019. It is a Canadian chain of casual dining restaurants founded in 1954 in Toronto, Ontario. Swiss Chalet has locations in most Canadian provinces, across Canada, but about 80% are in Ontario, and none in Quebec. Swiss Chalet is among the holdings of Recipe Unlimited, which also owns the fast food chain Harvey's. Swiss Chalet and Harvey's franchises share many locations. 2019 to the present, the text is now in dark green text, and the lines and the words under the line have been removed. Here is a variant and a commercial. Swiss Chalet has mastered crispy chicken, hand cut and dusted in our signature chalet seasoning, made crisp to golden goodness, perfect to dip in our famous chalet sauce. Only $11.99 for a limited time. Swiss Chalet, taste it once, love it forever. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Bloxy News. I've talked about it in the episode 482 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an unofficial Roblox news source posting content related to what is happening on the platform. It was created on August 27, 2017, by Bloxbox. He normally posts Roblox-related news stories for it on Twitter, Instagram, and on YouTube. On YouTube, videos such as new Roblox features and updates, tutorials, and highlights of events are normally posted. 2022 to the present, there is the word Bloxy in white text, except the letter O there is a blue Roblox logo, and under it, there is a blue Roblox logo. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Roblox Corporation. I've talked about it in the episode 482 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American video game developer based in San Mateo, California. Founded in 2004 by David Basucki and Eric Castle, the company is the developer of Roblox, which was released in 2006. As of December 31, 2021, Roblox Corporation employs approximately 1,600 people. 2022 to the present, the font of the text has changed, making the holes in the letters ROB and O bigger. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Sony A. I've talked about it in the episode 484 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an Indian pay television channel aimed at children, operated by Culver Max Entertainment. The channel created for age groups between 6 and 14. The channel primarily airs foreign animated series and some animes in native languages. 
2022 to the present, there is a black and blue and green gradient rounded square, and on the black part, there is the word Sony in white text, and on the blue and green gradient part, there is the word yay in white text representing a face, and on the right of it, there is a white exclamation point. Here is a bumper. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Google Messages. I've talked about it in the episode 498 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an SMS RCS, an instant messaging application developed by Google for its Android and Wiro's mobile operating systems, while it's also available via the web. Messages is Google's official universal messaging platform for the Android ecosystem, similar to the implementation of Imessage in Apple devices. 2022 to the present, there is a blue chat bubble, and merging with it, there is a blue oval shape. Here is a commercial. All right, now I'm gonna talk about RB Battles. I've talked about it in the episode 499 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Roblox event that began on December 3, 2022, and will end on an unknown date. It is sponsored by American multinational retail corporation, Walmart. It is the third RB Battles event and the first to be sponsored. 2022 to the present, there are two yellow awards, and between them there are the words RB and battles in yellow text on a black outline, and under it there is a blue shape, and inside it, there is the word championship in white text. Here is an intro. This is RB Battles. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Saturday Night Live. I've talked about it in the episode 508 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is an American late-night live television sketch comedy and variety show created by Lorne Michaels and developed by Dick Ebersole that airs on NBC and Peacock. Michaels currently serves as the program's showrunner. The show premiere was hosted by George Carlin on NBC on October 11, 1975, under the original title NBC's Saturday Night. 2022 to the present, there is a picture of a city, and on it there are the words Saturday Night and live in yellow text. Here is the icon and an intro. It's Saturday Night Live! Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Star Cinema. I've talked about it in the episode 510 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Philippine film studio and film and television production company and film distributor headquartered in Quezon City. It is one of the major film studios in the Philippines, along with Viva Films and Regal Entertainment. Star Cinema has produced and released most of the highest grossing Philippine films of all time. 2022 to the present, there is a yellow star, and coming from it there is a yellow half ring, and on it, there are the words star and cinema in black text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about TVP3. I've talked about it in the episode 525 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a Polish TV channel, run by the public broadcaster, TVP and dedicated to the country's regions. It has regional branches in most of the major Polish cities, and, similarly to the France 3 in France or Right 3 in Italy, for a couple of hours every day it broadcasts regional programming, including local news and reports. 2022 to the present, the white rectangle, the letters and the number 3 are smaller. Here is a bumper.
All right, now I'm gonna talk about Minnesota Twins. I've talked about it in the episode 538 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. They are an American professional baseball team based in Minneapolis. The Twins compete in Major League Baseball as a member club of the American League Central Division. The team is named after the Twin Cities area which includes the two adjoining cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul. 2022 to the present, there is a red letter C, and passing through it, there is a dark blue letter T. Here is a variant and an intro. Again tonight, and here is his Menard batting order, Byron Buxton. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Woolworth Supermarkets. I've talked about it in the episode 540 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2021. It is an Australian chain of supermarkets and grocery stores owned by Woolworths Group. Founded in 1924, Woolworths today is Australia's biggest supermarket chain, with a market share of 33%, as of 2019. 2021 to the present, the words the fresh food and people have been removed. Here is a commercial. Please worth this spring with great weekly specials, like Woolworths beef, pork or chicken sausages variety 600 grams from the meat department, any two for $12, save $2. Helping you get your Woolies worth, that's today's fresh food people. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Nerf. I've talked about it in the episode 564 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2020. It is a toy brand formed by Parker Brothers and currently owned by Hasbro, most of the toys are a variety of foam-based weaponry, with other Nerf products including balls for sports such as American football, basketball, and baseball. Their best-known toys are their dart guns that shoot ammunition made from Nerf foam. 2020 to the present, the text and the shape are now orange. Here is a commercial. I want to tell you about our brand sponsor, Nerf. This is the Nerf Mythic Gel Fire Blaster, and watch this. It, it shoots, shoots gel, gel pellets. pellets. I wish we had things like this when we were kids. This is ridiculous. These things are crazy. So crazy, in fact, that I asked them if I could make my own. This is the brand new Mr. Beast Nerf Blaster, and as you can tell, the hopper on ours is smoother. It has a retractable stock, rechargeable batteries, and you can put it on semi-fire, which shoots one at a time, or full auto. And this cartridge can hold tons of blast. Take it closer. A little bit closer. We only made a limited supply of these, so click the link in the description and pre-order our Mr. Beast Nerf Blaster while you still can. It's Nerf for nothing! Oh, this is so much fun! <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna talk about Tic Tac. I've talked about it in the episode 572 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a brand of small, hard mint manufactured by the Italian company Ferrero. They were first produced in 1969, and are now available in a variety of flavors in over 100 countries. Tic Tacs are usually sold in small transparent plastic boxes, with a flip action living hinge lid. 2022 to the present, the green leaf is now darker and 2D. All right, now I'm gonna talk about WANF. I've talked about it in the episode 595 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a television station in Atlanta, Georgia, United States, affiliated with CBS. It is the flagship property of locally based Gray Television and is co-owned with independent station WPCH-TV and Low Power, Class A Telemundo affiliate WKTBCD. WANF and WPCH-TV share studios on 14th Street Northwest in Atlanta's Atlantic Station District, while WANF's transmitter is located in the city's Woodland Hills section. 2022 to the present, they changed its name from WGCL-TV to WANF. There is the word ANF in black text, and under it there is a black and red shape, and on it there are the words Atlanta News, and first in white text. Here is the horizontal version and a bumper. In the race to be first. Getting to stories fast. Atlanta News made it more about spectacle than substance. Now, who would do that? That's why when we break news, you get more context about how news affects you more perspectives so that you have the complete picture and more first alerts to help you plan we are the local news team that puts you first we are atlanta news first okay now i'm gonna talk about folgers i've talked about it in the episode 599 of logo history and its logo has changed in 2022 it is a brand of ground, instant, and single-use pod coffee produced and sold in the United States, with additional distribution in Asia, Canada and Mexico. It forms part of the food and beverage division of the J.M. Smucker Company. 2022 to the present, there is the word Folgers in red text. Here is a commercial.
Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Sprint. I've talked about it in the episode 6 of Logo History W, and its logo has changed in 2020. It was an American telecommunications company. Before it merged with T-Mobile US on April 1, 2020, it was the fourth largest mobile network operator in the United States, serving 54.3 million customers as of June 30, 2019. The company also offered wireless voice, messaging, and broadband services through its various subsidiaries under the Boost Mobile and Open Mobile brands, and wholesale access to its wireless networks to mobile virtual network operators. 2020 to 2020, now under the word Sprint, there are the words Now Part and Oven Black text, and under them, there is a T-Mobile logo that consists in a pink letter T between two pink squares, and on the right of the squares, there is the mobile in pink text. Here is a commercial. Hi, it's Paul. It's no secret that I've tried a few wireless networks in my day, so I can honestly say T-Mobile and Sprint joining forces is a big deal. Together, they cover 99% of everyone in the country. That means a better network for Sprint customers. I'm already getting better service in the house and when I'm out walking the dogs. And from what I hear, better service is just the beginning. The beginning of some serious competition for AT&T and Verizon. Find out more at Sprint.com slash merger. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Ventario. I've talked about it in the episode 10 of Logo History W, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a publicly funded English language educational television network and media organization serving the Canadian province of Ontario. It is operated by the Ontario Educational Communications Authority, a crown corporation owned by the Government of Ontario. It operates flagship station SICA DT in Toronto, which also relays programming across portions of Ontario through ATRI broadcast stations. 2022 to the present, the font has changed, making the text thicker, and the text is now in red text. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Holiday Inn Express. I've talked about it in the episode 59 of Logo History W, and its logo has changed in 2018. It is a mid-priced hotel chain within the Intercontinental Hotels Group family of brands. Originally founded as an express hotel, their focus is on offering limited services at a reasonable price. Standard amenities lean toward the convenient and practical which cater to business travelers and short-term stays. 2018 to the present, now both the squares are now dark blue. Here is a commercial. With breakfast always included, you can start the day off any way you like. Brilliant, Bath. At Holiday Inn Express by IHG Hotels and Resorts. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about M&M's Minis. I've talked about it in the episode 65 of Logo History M, and its logo has changed in 2018. It is a product produced by M&M that consists of smaller candies usually sold in plastic tubes instead of bags. 2018 to the present, there is a brown oval shape, and on it there are the words milk and chocolate in white text, and on the right of the oval shape, there are the words chocolate and candies in white text, and under them, there is the word M&Ms in brown text on a white outline, and under it, there is the word minis in red, orange, blue, green and yellow text on a white outline. Here is a commercial. M&Ms minis. They're M&Ms, just smaller. Isn't that great? Your favorite, just mini. Ah. Breaking news. While producing this video, there was two logos that have changed. First, I'm gonna talk about MTV3. I've talked about it in the episode 122 of Logo History, and its logo has changed less than three weeks ago. And huge thanks to Shoes for telling. It is a Finnish commercial television station. It had the biggest audience share of all Finnish TV channels until UTV1 took the lead. The letters MTV stand for Masonic TV, due to the channel carrying advertisement for revenue. Number 3 was added later, when the channel was allocated the third nationwide television channel and it generally became known as Channel 3. 
2022 to the present. The word MTV3 is now in white text and on a red circle. Here's a variant and a bumper. This. Naurun ja surun kulkuri. 17. joulukuuta MTV2 ja MTV3. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Spider-Man No Way Home. I've talked about it in the episode 487 of Logo History and its logo has changed 3 months ago. And another huge thanks to Shoes for telling me. It is a 2021 American superhero film based on the Marvel Comics character Spider-Man, co-produced by Columbia Pictures and Marvel Studios and distributed by Sony Pictures releasing. It is the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming and Spider-Man Far From Home, and the 27th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The film was directed by John Watts and written by Chris McKenna and Eric Somers. 2022 to 2022. There is a red and dark green oval shape, and on it there is a red rectangle, and inside it there is a word Marvel in white text. And on the right of the rectangle there are two white lines, and between them there is the word Studios in white text. And under the lines there are the words Spider-Man, No Way and Home in white text. Now back to the TTS voice. Okay guys, this is it for this video. I've talked about 94 logos, so I really hope you liked it because I put a lot of effort and time into this video. But okay guys, I don't know when I'm doing logo news again because I don't know when logos are going to change. And please share this video as this was really hard to make, as I've been using almost all of my time just to finish this before 2023. Until the next one. Bye guys.